It's not a show about sex. Nope. It's about football. Cha cha cha. It's about football that literally just ended hours ago. An hour ago. <laughs> on a Wednesday. That was so weird. It's the weirdest thing yet. It's really weird. So apparently, because I believe they have Friday and Saturday games scheduled later this year because of the Christmas holiday, I believe there's going to be football on all seven days of the week at some point in this season. Oh, that's Isn't awesome. Isn't that weird? But hello. Welcome to Our Vegas Fantasy. I'm Kenny Davidson. Hi, I'm Christina. We have finished week 12. We are beginning week 13 um, with no Thursday games. That gives us a little time to breathe before we get to the before we get to the Sunday games. Did they do that every year, or did they just do that because of this Wednesday? The thing? Thursday game was supposed to be Baltimore Dallas, and the Baltimore can't play because they just played today. Oh, so they moved the Baltimore Dallas game to I think that's the Tuesday game now next week. So we've got two games on Monday and one game on Tuesday, and then the full slate on Sunday. And two teams on by Tampa Bay and, and Carolina. And I week think 13. my head just exploded. Well, it, yeah, it's 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 one of those seasons. But uh, how unlike did you do- any season, no, this this is on this is crazier than any of the season. We've yes. Had. So how did you do this week? Horribly. Oh, horribly. Oh. I went one and four. I lost first place in our auction league. I'll, oh. I'll probably go down to second place, which is still I'm still fine. Just got to get the top two. Get the um, in our New York league, I lost. And not only did I lose, I, I was in third place. I think I might get down to fifth place now. But you can't miss. You're in the playoffs. The top six in the New York League is all set because there's seven and five. There's nobody in between seven and five and five and seven. There's one week left. So yeah. we're both in, by the way. Yeah, but yeah, I'm so just. You, I'm you gotta get the box. Very dis. I mean, I was in first place last week. Yeah. So it's just very, very frustrating. And later, I'll tell you why I lost that that team and oh, what yeah. what caused me to lose that team. Um, I lost in ESPN, and then I won in Dynasty. That's the one you needed. So here, yeah. So I needed to win in Dynasty. Here's the thing about the Dynasty, which is really interesting. I, I'm because you know because our games just ended, the standings aren't aren't updated yet. So I'm trying no, to figure they're, they're it out. Going to be, I think, within the hour. You know, so you're quick. looking like who yeah. lost and who won, and you're trying to figure it out. And you're trying yeah. to do the math. Well, they got more points than me, so I have very low points. So I I, I literally need to I need the win. I don't I, the points won't even matter. So here's the thing with this. I looked Jacob. Um, I, th- I don't remember if he won or lost this week, but I think he won this week. Yeah, he's six, he's six and six. He's six and six. So right. he goes to six, seven and six. And I go to seven and six. I said I said to myself, all right, I'm in seventh place. He's in sixth place. I said, oh, let me see who he plays this week. We play each other. Ooh, you're playing for a spot. We are playing for. I think you're now. For a playoff spot. I think. I think this. Yeah, this that's is great. Because I'm gonna double check that. But yeah, okay. That's, yeah, that's B- awesome. because I was looking at. I'm going. I. I definitely have to win, and he definitely has to lose because his points are better than mine. And then I looked, and I'm like, we're playing each other. It doesn't even matter. It does not even matter. So I mean, that's what you want. You want. You want a win and end situation. Right. So, and and you got it, my so. dynasty team is finally getting healthy. I finally have Eckler back. Like. Alan Robinson is like producing better and better now. Like I'm, I'm finally getting my team. Uh, uh, Cousins and Tannehill are actually like the last couple weeks. They've been really great. Yeah. So. So here's where you're at. This is what the deal is. It's not quite that simple. Oh, it's not. Scott six and six too. No, Scott lost this week. He's six and six. He lo- the loss it got him to six and six. Oh. The wins got you and Jacob to six and six. So oh, I you forgot. Need, so you beat Jacob. But you need help. You need Scott to lose too. So it's not oh, quite. Oh, I forgot just, that Dynasty updates them in real time. Yes. Okay, okay. So, okay, you know, okay. it's still pretty good because you, you have a shot. You legitimately have a shot. So I this. have to win and Scott has to lose. Yeah. Oi. It can happen. You're going down, Scott. All right. Well, going down. There you go. Oi. So. Yeah. So I lost in Dynasty this week. But I'm clinched. I have I I am a I have a first round buy clinched for sure, mm-hmm. but I need to just win this week, or I need to even if I lose this week, I need to not, I need to outscore Eric by sixty six, to get the top points and the tops and the top record in the lead to get to win the, the top record prize and to also get a, and to you know I already had the first round buy clinched. So that's good. So I'm all right. And, you know, look, if Kyler Murray gets nine points in a week, I'm going to lose. That's yeah. How that's just I right. Can't, I can't survive a week where Kyler Murray, DeAndre Hopkins, I can't play Deontay Johnson. Uh, Josh Jacobs stunk. 
Yeah. So I can't, I can't survive a week like that. And Dalvin Cook wasn't even that good this week. Yeah. So it is what it is. But I, I, I'm, good, I'm happy to get a couple weeks off. And then in our, in our auction league, yeah. there's only six that make the playoffs, top right? six make it. And then is there a buy? If you get top two, you get the buy. Oh, so I'll get so a you buy. Need, you need to get top two. Which I will. Right? You can't, you can't not fall into third place? No, I can't. Because I have more points than than So even if you lose Steve. and he wins. Because Steve, lo- Steve, lo- Steve won, but I have more points than him. Okay. So you're all right. So, okay. Well, wait a minute. That's not updated yet. No, so, but I, I but have he lost. more points than him by like 200. And he lost this week. No, Scott. Uh, Steve lost. Steve won oh, okay. with, to me. Oh, he beat you. So he's Yeah, but he only three. beat me by like. Yeah, but he's, so he's nine and three and you're nine and three. Because yes. that's not updated yet. Yes, okay. correct. Right. But I have more points. All right. So I'm still, still one more week. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, right. yeah, I still have one more week. True. Yeah. So. Oh, geez. Yes. But I, uh, I went. Slipping away. How did I went you go? 26 and 17. Okay. I am alive. In going into the final week of the regular season, I am alive in 32 out of 43. Oh. I'll take that. 32 out, 32 out of 43 is almost is, is in the high 60 percentage now is this the last all. week uh almost or... 75 almost 75 percent not bad yeah one, now... one last last week of the regular season in most of my leagues it's gonna say is that yeah. in most of your leagues most of my leagues yeah so okay i am uh i am alive and kicking and i i think the leagues where i just win and in and i don't need help are 28 and then i have another four where i need help okay so you'll be rooting for those teams yeah no, I mean I'm I'm alive, and I I only lost one team today with that Deontay Johnson. But I needed 25 out of Deontay to get 13. Or should, let's call him Dropsy Johnson. Dropsy Johnson. Whiz man. Dropsy Johnson. Oh my god. It's like you need a Scott Assassin for that. You know, but yeah, right. I mean, it, he Ebron dropped passes too. I mean, they all were stunk, but like, it, you know, you see, you need Deontay to get a 25 spot. I'm like, I need a miracle anyway. And literally, he's slashing toward the end zone, and the ball's right there. He goes toward the end zone, but he. Doesn't take the ball with Yeah. Him. Like, thank you, Deontay. Come so, on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. So, what you going to do? Yeah, nothing. But let's get to the highs of the week. Did you have Deshaun? You have Deshaun Watson anywhere? mm I have him in one league. I have him and, and his receiver, who we're going to get to, who was wonderful and left us with a parting gift. Yes. Yes, we'll get to that. Uh, but Deshaun Watson went, had, was uh, phenomenal. He's been so good since Bill O'Brien's been fired. He's been so good. He's yes. been one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Four touchdowns. So this what does week. that tell you about Bill O'Brien? Yeah. Right? Uh, we all knew Bill O'Brien stunk, but like evidence, like the evidence is there. I feel like a lot of coaches are gonna get fired this year. Well, it's already they started. Better. They like, better. Detroit cleaned house, Houston's cleaned house. Yeah. I mean, I, I you gotta figure the Jets are gonna clean house. Yeah. You gotta figure the Chargers are gonna clean house. The Eagles. I think the Eagles should. I don't, I don't think know. the Eagles will. Yeah. The Eagles should fire both the GM and the coach. That GM, I mean, it's absolute larceny I know that they drafted JJ Arthega Whiteside over, over yep. DK Metcalf yep. and Terry McLaurin. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right? I know. Forget it. This is ridiculous. And Rigger is not off to a great start either. But you know, let's not let's not kill that. Oh, but that, that, yes. that was the most I the first five series on Monday night they go three and out. So Oh, is that unbelievable? And we talked about this last week. It's it's hard to watch. Yeah. It is so hard to watch. That is just it was hard because I needed Rager to have a monster game. Um and I almost pulled out two leagues when Carson Wentz hit the Hail Mary. Both those leagues I lost by less than two points. If he throws the two point conversion as opposed to giving it to Sanders, if he throws it, I win two those oh. two leagues. I lost both those leagues by less than two points. Oh man. Yeah. So close. What's she gonna do? Yeah. How about Kirk Cousins? Yes, and without feeling. Yeah. I mean, I'll... Well, you know, that's the Justin Jefferson team now. Yeah. Dude, that's great. Oh, man. Yeah. 34 so... for 45, 370 yards, and three touchdowns. I hope he keeps this up, baby. You know, Keep and the thing it is, up. <clears throat> with Dalvin Cook kind of being banged up a little bit, you might see them throw the ball a little more down the stretch. It's not what they want to do, but but I think there's hope for Kirk. So... I mean, he's not a bad quarterback. Well, they just don't use, they just, he doesn't throw a lot. I know, yeah. but I don't understand why. Well, I think because he just that's, that's Zimmer for you. Yeah. How about the combination of Patrick Mahomes and Tyreek Hill? In- Tyreek Hill had 56. Insane. Yeah. Insane. Yes. 269 yards and three touchdowns yes. for Hill. Career high. Of course, Mahomes, he's freaking always on this list. So. Yes. 
462 yards, three touchdowns. But Unbelievable. 200 of those yards in the first quarter, by yeah, the way. Yeah, I know. Insane. Right? Absolutely insane. They they are so fun to watch. They are so – I love Mahomes so much. I love that they beat you in different ways. I love that game that they played against Buffalo where they decided to run the, run ball, the ball 40 times. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. And then this time they know they can't run the ball against Tampa because you can't run against Tampa. So we're just going to throw the ball and Tyreek kill, kicks the kicks the hell out of them. Mm-hmm. So it was amazing to watch. There was a Jarvis Landry sighting this week. Yes, for the there first was. time all year. Second big. Well, no, he had a good week last year too. You, a, a good week last week too. No, he, not really. He's he's been pretty lousy. But he, this is the first time he's on this list this year. Oh, right on the on the on the over twenty point list. Yeah, we had a season high, hundred forty three yeah. yards. Touchdown. Unbelievable. You thought with the OJ, with uh, Odell Beckham going down that he'd be here more often. But granted, they've had they've had some weather issues, so I'm sure they were just happy to get a game in nice weather. Uh, the aforementioned DK Metcalf, another career high game for him, hundred seventy seven yards, ten receptions. Good for him. Did I don't hear, have him anywhere. Did you hear what the exchange between defensive coordinator Jim, Jim Schwartz and DK Metcalf before the game? No. So according to Jim Schwartz, he was trying to pay DK a compliment. And he says, hey, I coach Megatron. Oh, yes, day, yes. And, you know, you're not there yet. Yeah. You're good, but you're not there yet. I think he meant that as a compliment, but DK took that as an insult. And then he puts up a spot like that on Slay and on the Eagles. Yes. Mm-hmm. That was heated. Watching yeah. that between them. Oh, yeah. That was a fun little matchup watching yeah. that. DK's a beast. He is. What a beast. So is Slay, though. One of my favorite, fun to watch. One of my favorite players is Allen Robinson. Yay. I don't know. Look, I know his quarterback sucks, but that dude is so good. He's a monster. And he just comes through. He's had one game under 10 points all year. Mm-hmm. Seven, Phenomenal play. 74 yards, two touchdowns. Love my Allen Robinson. Yep. He's in my dynasty, baby. And an argument for rookie of the year probably won't win because of Herbert, but Justin Jefferson – Yep, two touchdowns, seventy yards. I really like him. Yeah, I picked him up. There's so many leagues that I could that I could pick him up. Ah, uh, I wish I I wish I had. I have to say the one advantage of not watching games at a casino and watching Red Zone is I get a, a better look at players, and you know, like all you have to do is I'll, I just saw Jefferson. I'm like, oh, I'm getting that guy. You know, like as soon as Week Three happened when he had the hundred yard game, and it was like, you know, you get a hundred yard game in your third career game. I'm like, I'm getting this guy. I'm going to – I literally bid on him in every league. I didn't get him in every league. Yeah. But I bid on him in every league he was available at that point because I'm like, I'm not missing out on this dude. I was just so afraid of feeling. And I know they don't really throw that much. So I was like, yeah. eh, I don't know. I kind of – Well, Jefferson's got the Diggs role. Feeling's still feeling. Yeah. But Jefferson has completely Took filled over. the Diggs role, mm-hmm. role. You know? Yep. You're right. Derek Henry. Woo-hoo-hoo, buddy. I did not go against Derek Henry – anywhere this week and i was like thank the lord right. thank the lord 178 yards three touchdowns caught two passes as well yeah he rushed 27 times now great, great job derek great job now you want derek henry if you have derek henry this is what you get for the next four weeks cleveland mm-hmm. which is a tough defense but then fantasy playoffs check these three games out at jacksonville Home for Detroit at Green Bay. Yeah. Detroit and Green Bay are one and two in most points up given up to the running backs. To running backs, yep. Mm-hmm. If you have Derrick Henry on your team, have fun. I don't have him anywhere. I'm in three legs. Yeah, we stayed away from him a lot. I didn't stay from I Not, you know, in PPR I did, but I didn't have the draft position yeah. to get him a lot. Yeah. But, like, I, but I got him in three, and, mm-hmm. you know, that's all right. I'll live with it. Yeah. So. My man, Antonio Gibson. Oh, he's so good. Yep. He was killing it. I mean, torch, it. torch the Cowboys. But here's the thing. Since Alex Smith has taken over a quarterback, Mr. Checkdown, he's got 18 points at least in every game. Yeah. I'm happy. Oh, yeah. You should Thank be. Thank you. Yes. I, uh, that, that Thanksgiving game was fun to watch, too. And, and I have Gibson, like, I think in two leagues. So... My percentage to win going in, I was like, yes, man. Third, what do you get? Like 36 points, I think. I was like hyped. I was like, yep. yes. I lost both of them. Oh, man. All that for nothing. All that for nothing. I have Gibson in two leagues that I have Camara in. And with the Camara drop off, yeah. to have the Gibson rise, it's saving my bacon in both those leagues. Mm. These are two good, these are two teams that can win titles. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm needing the balance right now. It's been working out very well for me. Mr. James Robinson. 
128 yards, one touchdown, you? caught five balls. Oh, he's just so good. He's, he's, el- he's on this list every week, isn't he? Best 11th round pick I've ever made. Yeah. Right? I picked him in 15 leagues. Jeez. I, didn't, I don't have him anywhere. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I when, you, when you hear somebody's a starting running back, I don't care where they are. You don't know what they are. I'm like, well, I just let me get a piece of them. Yeah. You never know, right? Mm-hmm. Now, here's a guy who's coming back, who came back this week. Who I think is going to win you leagues if you have him. Oh, I hope so. And that is Mr. Austin Eckler. Oh, I'm so glad. I have him in two. I have him in two leagues. I've been putting him on my IR all year. He had, what, 16 targets from t- from Herbert as a running back? Yeah, 11, 11 catches. 11 catches? 85 yards, and he rushed 44 yards. Now, the one thing, as a guy who has Keenan Allen in a lot of leagues, I think he hurts Keenan Allen. Now, I don't think Keenan, Keenan Allen was putting up 25s and 30s. I think now he goes to 15s and 20s. Yeah. Because Eckler's back. But man, how good is that? I'm so happy he's back. You need him in your dynasty league. Oh, yeah, I do. The timing. Yeah, I do. You need it. Mr. Latavius Murray. Another one of my dynasty players. Right. Killed it for me. Yeah. Killed it. How weird is that? I mean... They, they're they're babying Kamara's foot, right? They're babying. Him I know a bit. it's it's Taysom Hill that doesn't want to throw to him. Kamara's not a runner. Kamara's rushing yards this year are very low. He's a pass catcher. He's not. They, he had, he caught one pass. Yeah, he's caught three passes under under Taysom Hill. Yeah, but Latavius Murray's a runner. He doesn't catch passes. He's right, a straight runner. He's so good. I've I've been having to roll with Murray in Dynasty, and this week, man. He's so and now I'm like, oh God, do I keep him in it? Like, what do I do with Eckler now? I mean, I'm obviously playing Eckler. I'm not, you know. I mean, you've got all three. You've got you've got Murray, you've got Eckler, and you've got Edmonds. Am I gonna play Edmonds? No, nah, it's situational. I think in your situation, probably not. Right, because I have so many good you wide receivers. I mean, look, you're getting healthy at the right time. I know. This I is know. When you wanna get, if you just gotta find a way to win this week and get a little help, right? You get in there. Right. So Murray or Edmonds, that's that's going to be. And whoever I pl- pick is going to. I'm never going to make the right decision, as you always say. Well, you played Murray this week. You won, right? Well, I had to play both of them. Right. Because you didn't play Eckler by accident. So, right. I'll, you didn't know. I'll didn't get to need, that. No, no. All right. We'll get, all right I'll all get right. to that all later. Right. Uh, how about David Montgomery? I don't think we said his name a lot. This no. Year. Who? Who's right? this guy? Yeah. Well, you know. Playing Green Bay gets you on this list. Right. A lot and the Bears are just. They look so bad. Yeah. The ba- Bears, the Bears look like where they should look. The now. Bears are so bad. Like, why isn't Montgomery killing it every week because they can't he can't throw the ball? Like, why why can't they just run the ball constantly and Montgomery just keeps getting fed? Why? It's another team that needs an overhaul with the GM and the Yeah. Coach. I mean Montgomery they're just, they're over there, over their head. I just feel like he should be killing it every week. Yeah. Now here's a guy I wish I had more. I actually dropped him in the auction league because I have I have Hawkinson. And I couldn't keep two tight ends. I just had a position where I had to make a drop. I dropped Dallas Goddard. Ugh. Two, two, we two great weeks in a row. Yeah, thankfully. Well, he's the number one receiver on the Eagles by a lot. Yeah, right. Now, will that continue when Ertz is back? I think it will. I'm just like so scared to play him because the Eagles are just just nuts but he's your di- is he your dynasty tight end or no Ertz is oh, okay. yeah, Goddard is who you want because Ertz is I think Ertz is is coming to a close I know but yeah. it's yeah I love Dallas Goddard I really do but what what do you what do you what do you do with him with I, with with Wentz I think like you, you use him I feel like you play him oh, it's scary I well I, considering how bad tight end is right now this is true to me you just play him mm-hmm. you roll with him so and now, oh, I thought you paused it. Go ahead. You All can right. do it. Who crapped the bed? Did you crap the bed? Did I crap the bed? Did Kyler crap the bed? He sure did. Yeah. We all want to know who crapped the bed. Crap, crap the, the bed. bed. Kyler Murray. Crapped, crapped the, bed. the bed. 170 yards, no touchdowns, one no interception. Rushing either. Interception. He yeah. hasn't been the same since that shoulder injury. Yeah, I'm a little concerned. Not gonna lie to you, a little concerned. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, granted, Patriots know what they're doing defensively, but I'm a little concerned. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Uh, Cam Newton. Speaking of the Patriots. Yes. Yeah. Again, no touchdowns, two interceptions, eighty-four yards. But they won. 
Yeah, which makes no sense. Yeah. So. He almost, he rushed 46 yards. He almost rushed as much as he threw. Yep. More than half of what he threw. Sounds about right. <laughs> Stupid. But this is, this is the insulting crap the bet of the week. Um, you go to Atlanta. Ugh. And you play a game like that, Mr. Derek Carr. Come on, Carr. You should have won that game. Six points. Not only won, they lost 44 to six. Six points. This is embarrassing. And they're playing the Jets this week. They, he, That's a gimme. You lose to the Jets. Wow. Are the Jets still 0 and like. They're 0, and, they're 0 and 11. Jeez. <coughs> yeah. Come yeah. on, Derek Carr. Get your head in the game, that buddy. That was pathetic. That was pathetic. Utterly pathetic. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup. He's all yeah. over the place this he year. He is. Absolutely over the place this year. You can't find the right game. R- right. Yeah. For the leagues that I have him in, I'm just like, I have one league that I'm th- that is out that's three and nine. And my receivers are Evans, Cup, Diggs, Fulgham, Deontay Johnson. I have literally start suited myself to a three and nine record. Oh. I have I would be easily I've checked. I would be six and six if I started the right players. Oh week, right. I started myself into a three because who when do you start cup? I started cup this week. I left Deontay Johnson and Mike Evans on the bench. Yeah. I mean, granted, I was four, I'm four and I was three and eight, so I wasn't gonna win anyway. But like right. point being, he's that guy. You don't know when you're gonna start Cooper Cup. Mm-hmm. So frustrating. I know, and he's such a good player. It's the Rams, though. You just the Rams are weird. No, but I like Cooper Cup. I love Cooper Cup, but the Rams are weird. It's a shame. And then you've got the the uh, the Seahawks, where Metcalf's good and Lockett's not, or Lockett's good and Metcalf's, and Metcalf's not. not. But yeah. most of the time, it's Metcalf good, Lockett not. Lockett is very boomer bust this year. Yeah, a little more than you want him to be. Yep, three catches, twenty three yards. Yeah, womp womp. Yeah, frustrating to say the least. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tyler Boyd. Now, T. Higgins actually got a touchdown pass, Mm -hmm. but you got problems with the Bengals receivers right now. Oh, yeah. A.J. Green shouldn't be on a roster. Now you got Boyd. No, we talked about that before. Right, and you got Boyd, and and you don't know what you do with him. Boyd was good for, like, a big chunk. Oh, he's great. And now he's just, and now they have all those problems there. Yeah. Oh, it's so sad. That's sad. It is. (sighs) Yeah. Uh, Antonio Brown. I put him on the list because... We thought by now he would just be better, and he's not. And there's too many mouths to feed in that offense. Yeah, I mean, is anyone really starting him? Yeah, I have leagues where I'm starting, I'm sure. Really? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Deep leagues, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, now he like he doesn't start for me on a shallow league, but there's a deep league where he's a starter for me. Yeah. Without a doubt. But, you know, I got he's not good. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, he's had weeks with eight targets. He said, we've, we've led the wide receiving core in targets. This was not one of them. No. We mentioned Kamara. Alvin Kamara is a problem. He just needs to do Breeze back. It's as simple as that. Yeah. One catch for 54 yards. When is Breeze coming back? We don't know. Hmm. Hopefully week 14 for fantasy players. Hopefully not for me. Because well, I need Murray to do better. Well. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> and then you've got Clyde edwards Elair. Again, just all over the place. He is. He really is all over the place this year. That whole backfield. I think the days where the Andy Reid running back is the as an automatic running back one, which he was for so many years with Jamal Charles or Brian, Brian Westbrook. Westbrook. Right. Ah! I think those days with Mahomes are over because it's yeah. Mahomes. It's not anything against the talent level of CH. Mm-hmm. But when you've got Mahomes out there Mm -hmm. and you've got situations where they're throwing the ball to run the clock out, they're not running the ball to run the clock out. They're throwing the ball to run the clock out. I just, I just, I just, you're not going to get consistency out of the running backs. Yeah. It doesn't, you know, CH is great, Mm -hmm. but he also doesn't check down a lot because he's Mahomes. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's, it's week to week with CH. I, I can't trust that. No. But, I mean, I know some people have to because well, I mean, RBs are so thin. Yeah. There's no doubt. I mean, there's at least, at least I have to start them. There's yeah. No doubt. So, uh, now, what the hell do you do with Ezekiel Elliott? I don't know. The, uh, again, we've talked about this before. Their offensive line is so bad. Yeah. And a backup quarterback. And a backup quarterback. And, I mean... And it's so sad because where we drafted him at, we expected more. And it's like now, oh, there, there'll there be some tough starter sits with Zeke. Yep. 
He's now a start sit question. Yes. He probably has been more than we wanted to admit it legitimately, but he's legitimately a start sit question. He's not uh, an automatic. No. And you know, here's the other thing with Zeke. Next year is going to be really tricky with him because he's, he's going into his sixth season. Six season in a running back, you're already like, eh, okay, is the drop off coming? But he's going to be probably a second or a third round pick next year as opposed to a first round pick. Oy. So it'll be interesting to see what we do with him. Mm. Is it kind you know, is, is it already coming like down for him or is it just because they stink and we give them a pass? I'm going to say it's just because they stink. Right. He's not, he's not a kid though. He's going to six season is, is something else. So, but he's genuinely healthy. Yeah. But yes, without, now. without a doubt, he's a start sit question. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, Miles Sanders. Oh, there's a, here's another start sit question. Yeah, I mean they haven't. He hasn't scored since mid October. He's hurt a lot of that too, but still, point being, still. Yeah. I mean, ugh. well, they here's a good thing. They have the Packers this week. You're playing them this week. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Now, if he craps the bed when you need him most, which I need him in Dynasty, bad. Or not Dynasty, I need him in my ESPN League, bad. Yeah. Because I've he's he's crapped the bed so many weeks in a row now that it's just put me... I mean, I was in first place at one point. Now I'm like, I barely will make the playoffs. I would say this. If you have Miles Sanders in a Dynasty League and they don't fire Doug Peterson, I would sell Miles Sanders. I'd trade him. I like because it. I don't think Miles Sanders will ever reach his potential correct yes under doug peterson i think with a right coach and a right system he could be a beast yeah He's, i mean well you watch the guy play he got six carries yeah that is criminal mm -hmm. that's utterly criminal and to give him six carries. right and when wentz is playing so horribly oh yeah like what wh i was literally just screaming at the tv like yeah why? Why are they not dumping it off to him? I don't Screens. Know. I don't know. Trick plays. I mean, at this point, try anything. It's the coach to me. Oh. That's the coach to me. I could coach anything. his team better. I agree. I, I I mean, Doug Peterson, I think he's one of these, I want a championship, guys, so I do what I want. Sometimes it doesn't work. I just, I, 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 I have no faith watching him. No. Watching him, watch him coach that team. Ugh. I don't care that they've won a Super Bowl. Also, his receivers, Wentz, Wentz has lost his confidence. You can see that. Also, his receivers don't get open. They don't get open. And their offensive line is horrendous. And their offensive line is utterly horrendous. I mean, they can't, they can't protect him. Yeah, no. But he's also holding the ball too long. He is too. So it's, it's literally it's like, everything. it's everything. Yeah. But like, if we see it and we're not football, we're not professional football players. Right. Why does, why do they not see I it? I don't know. It's mind boggling. It's I mean that that Monday night football game was as hard a game to watch as I've ever seen. Yes. Honestly. Yes. And well the week before was too. Yeah. The and last two Eagles game has literally been breaking my heart, especially yeah. as a as an Eagles fan. I and mean, the, and also the fact that the playoffs are sitting there right for them. I know. And you've got the Giants and Washington leading the division. You know what? I thought I said the Giants are gonna win the division. But now Daniel Jones is out this week. They're not winning it. You know who's winning it? The Washington's going to win. The this. Washington. You know why? Because Alex Smith is not. Alex Smith does not turn the ball over. Mm -hmm. He's not great, but he's a good game manager. Mm -hmm. They have good. Gibson. They have a great running back. McLaurin. And they have an yep. excellent coach. Yeah. Ron Rivera is an excellent coach, and their defense is solid. Mm -hmm. They're not great, but they're solid. Mm -hmm. They're winning that division. I hope so. Yeah. Unbelievable. If they win that division. Alex Smith gets in the playoffs. What a story that would be. Oh yeah. Right. Good for him. Uh, Every time you... he gets hit, though, oh, oh God, I know. is he okay? Is he okay? I know. Get, okay, he's good. Yeah, you he's don't good. want to see Dwayne Haskins back oh, in there. Oh, it's a it's a problem. Uh, what do you do, Daryl Henderson? I don't know. I, I don't know. Sit him. You sit him. I'm telling you, Cam Akers is taking that backfield over. It only took 13 weeks. Yeah, like come on. Right, it's happening. He Henderson we has. We screened about this a week ago. It's happening. I know, I know. And Henderson hasn't scored more than like 11 points yeah. since week five. Yeah. It's been like, you know. Not good. Not good. No. Not good. No. You really, I don't think you can start Acres just yet either, but you get, you get into the point where you can consider starting Acres now. Yes. And I like Cam Acres way better than I like Henderson. Oh, yeah. Acres looks really good, too. Like, Acres, when he actually gets the ball, he looks good. He's finally getting it. It mm -hmm. took him a while, but he's getting it. 
Akers next year, watch out. Mm-hmm. If they don't do a damn timeshare, they give him the ball. How many of these running backs, you're just, just give them the ball. Jonathan Taylor, give him the ball. Just give it. Cam Akers, give him the ball. Miles Sanders, give, give him, him the, the ball. ball. <laughs> it's so simple. Yes, exactly. Stop with these bloody timeshares. Yes. Montgomery. Yeah. No, he's another one. Another give him one. The ball. Give him the ball. Yeah. Uh, all of them. Give them the ball. It's just so frustrating. Especially with all the hurt and injured quarterbacks. Just it's yep. it's easy. What do you do with John o. Smith? No targets. But here's the thing. He still has seven touchdowns yeah. for the year. And he's still a top six tight end. But he hasn't been good in six weeks. And But no one he's, no, fi- he's fighting a foot injury too. No he tight ends have been today. good this week. He didn't practice today. Ugh. I think there's something more to that story. Than we think. Well, then I think there's an injury here. Take some chances on uh, Logan Thomas. Or Anthony Ferkser. 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 What the Ferkser? Yeah. So, but I don't know. You can't start Jonah this week. Why not? I don't think you can start Jonah. I think if, I don't think, well, one, I don't think he's going to play. I think if he plays, you start him. Oh, boy. I don't know. All right. Yeah. News and injuries. Um, out of all the frustrating things we dealt with this week with the whole Baltimore Pittsburgh situation. I don't think anything hurt fantasy players more than that little news drop we got on Monday with Will Fuller. Ugh. Six weeks. Horrible. PEDs. But his doctor said they were fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's an excuse. Because we know why he stayed healthy this year. Yeah. Well, and, you know, he had this monster game. Yeah, he left a nice game. going away present. Thank you. Thanks. Right? I don't have him a lot, but if I did... I would be very sad going into the playoffs not having him. Oh, yeah. I had him in four leagues, three of which are playoff teams. I feel like two of those three can survive. But I got one where I got nothing at receiver. And I'm oh. like, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Oh. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm playing Godwin. I, that's an Antonio Brown league where I have to start him every week. My number, he's, Fuller was my, by far my number one receiver. I have uh, DJ Chark. I have Brandon Ayuk. I mean, I got I got a lot of garbage on that team. Unless you go with Chark. Oh yeah, I'm not even question. Yeah. But I mean, who am I going to find? It's not easy out there right slim now. Slim Pickens. It's Slim Pickens out there. So that's bad news. Uh, Josh Jacobs gets hurt again. Josh Jacobs. Ja- oh, it's a Josh Jacobs. Jingleheimer Schmidt. His name was my name too. <laughs> <laughs> Every time, every time. I, that's all I think of when I see Josh. Josh Jacobs. Ankle sprain. He has a chance to play. Yeah. We'll see. Did he practice today, which I have is not Wednesday? Seen yet. I have not seen it. The news has not come down. Mm-mm. Josh Jacobs. Jingleheimer Smith. Yeah, you got it. Daniel Jones. He's not playing this week. Oh, no. That was sad. And he tried to come back, and he was like, I'm okay. And then he, no, yeah. you're not. You're not. Yep. Sit down. Nope. Daniel Jones. Nope. Sorry. Not good. Tua Tungavailoa. Thumb injury. I have no idea that even happened. And all of a sudden I'm watching the game like, why is Fitzpatrick in? Yeah. Fitzmagic. Yep. 24 carat F- Fitzmagic. That's it. <laughs> now Tonga Bailoa might play this week. He practiced. He's iffy. Okay. We'll see on that one. All right. Julio. He practiced limited. Might play this week. Hamstring. Yep. Keep, I, keep a looking. I think for the rest of our fantasy lives, Julio Jones is going to be on the injury uh, if he's going to play list at this point. Yeah. I think with Julio. I think that's what you're getting with Julio. Yep. Uh, is Kenny Galladay going to play again this, this decade? I don't know. What the hell? Hip injury. Like, Seriously? No, no, no. He didn't practice today. He's not going to play this week either. No. Why I'm, did they put him on IR? I Yeah. What's, what's up with this? What was up with, with the Bengals not putting Mixon on IR? What's up with the the Lions not putting Galladay on IR? Maybe they didn't have anyone to bring up. Or they didn't just didn't think the injuries were that serious. Yeah, or that. But Galladay's, man, he, he's killed people this year. Yeah. Totally, lo- total loss. Oh, I remember when we were bidding on Galladay because my team name is Galladay Inn. Yeah. And, and people were joking, just just let her have her. I'm just let, So they so she doesn't have to change her team name. And he went for so high. I was like, nah, I'm not doing it. And I'm glad I didn't. Well, you were sure glad you didn't. I'm glad I didn't just to keep my name. And I kept my name anyway. So, huh, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. There you go. Okay, song time, ladies and gentlemen, the star, Christina Shaw. Uh. Get 
get that good waiver wire that will set your team on fire. So don't miss fire or he will go to the highest buyer. Don't wait too long because you know they expire. You require to aspire the highest waiver wire. Womp, womp, womp. All right. What do we got, Kenny? You got Benny Snell? He looked pretty darn good today. It's all right. How What? What? Uh, points that he ended up with. I today. don't know what he ended up with altogether. He didn't get in the end zone, so but he looked decent. Caught a few passes. Yeah, they they called his name a couple of times. I heard it. Now the only reason we have him here is because we don't know if Connor is eligible to play Monday or not. Twelve points he got. Not Twelve point three. That's not bad at all. So you don't know. We don't know. I mean, you, you kind of have to have him there because we don't know the timeline with Connor. Right, and he's only thirty five percent owned. Yeah, he's probably available a lot. So. Yeah. He could be the starting running back for the Steelers. Yes. And you always want that. Oh, well. Devontae Booker. Mm, the I mean, well, he's, you know, look, if Jacobs is out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, they're playing the Jets. Oh, hell yeah. So, I mean, it's a one-week thing probably, but man. And even if Jacobs plays, I feel like Booker would still be a good option. He's got some value this week. Because Jacobs isn't going to be playing at 100%. No, I agree. And Booker's only ten percent owned. Yeah, Booker's definitely a guy you got to you got to look into. And I mean, it's the last week. It's one of the last weeks. Like, if you're gonna use a waiver wire pickup and you need it, like, yeah. you should just do it. No doubt. Don't Ab- you, you're not gonna save it too much longer. There's Ab- only a couple more weeks left. <laughs> Absolutely, that's it. Uh, Cam Akers, if he's available, it's not available too often. I got a couple leagues he's available. It, it, on Yahoo, it says he's only thirty percent owned. Yeah, I never I understand because I look at my leagues like he's not 30% owned in my leagues. Right, yeah, he's like, yeah, 100% yeah. owned. Yeah. I just, I mean, I me personally, I don't want a part of that backfield this year. I mean, coming into the playoffs, if you can find a breakout running back. But is he going to break out the week you never know, but it's a potential. Like, you know, these are the guys. Look, you didn't want DeAndre Swift in the beginning of the year, but you're glad you have him now. Yeah. Right? Like, you just, it's it's the gamble of it. Like you have, a, you're gambling on a guy that could become a twenty point a week guy, and you're not finding a lot of twenty point a week guys out there right now. Mm-hmm. You don't know, and especially at running back where there's a, nothing there. Cesspool. Yes, total cesspool. But after you've toured the cesspool, <laughs> after a nice scrape through at the bottom of the barrel. Yes. You're looking for those guys after midnight. After midnight and two days late. Gee whiz. Ooh. These people, I mean, these guys have been waiting around a long time. A long time. Person 11. Ooh. They, they, they probably need a shower. I think it's time for the first time all year, although he's probably more of a waiver wire pick than an after midnight guy, but you never know. He might be a leftover. And we haven't said this name in so long, but... You need a little cute cuteness in your life, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Yeah, a little kiki cutie. Cutie, he's such a little cutie. I want him after midnight. Yes. He's a good cuddle partner. If he's if he's still around, I think he'll be desir- more desirable than an after midnight pick. But you just never know. I have I have one to to coattail off of that. Coattail. A coattail. A coattail after midnight. Yeah. Literally. Isaiah. Coulter. Coulter. <laughs> Coattail Coulter. 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 Coattail Coulter. 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 It's hard to say. Very nice. So, I mean, hey. That's a good one. That's I a know. deep, deep, deep yeah, pick. Ooh, it's real deep. <laughs> but how about the guy we saw today who got a few, few touches, Anthony McFarland? Not that interesting. No, no. That, that's, that's really deep. That's deep. But I'm going to put a guy on here who's another Anthony. We just talked about him earlier. Anthony Ferkser. What the Ferkser? I like Ferkser. I like that one, Kenny. Yeah, you do like that one? Oh, I like that. That's a good after minute. It's a good one. I got one. A lot of people are going to pick him up. I got one more. Oh, yeah. What you got? DeAndre Washington. Ooh. Running back. Miami Dolphins. Yeah, if, we'll play this week. If Ahmed and Gaskin don't doesn't play, uh, he, he got more carries of Brita this week. Oh, Brita's, Brita's toast. Right. Yeah. So it's pretty deep, but you know, he's only one one percent owned. Well, look, if Gaskin's not gonna play, 
Hell yeah. I mean, DeAndre's, but he's been forgotten for five years. So. He's still pretty young, though. <laughs> Ooh, fancy. Oh, fancy just, finger just work. For, just for youngs. <laughs> Those after midnight picks. Cuddle up with some Kiki Cute. And ride the coattail of ride the coattails. Isaiah Coulter. There's some good ones. Yeah, I mean, there's some sneaky ones now. Mm-hmm. So. I like it. Yeah. Very true. Mm-hmm. Do you have an overthought? Oh, yes. Oh, boy. Well, it, do you have an overthought? I'm, I'm, let, I'm giving it all to you. I mean, I, I, told, I told you mine. I, I, I start sitting myself to oblivion in one league, but, you know. Well, I had I, – I, one, one overthought really didn't cost me a league, but um, – with the with the whole game uh, on Wednesday, I had this weird feeling that they weren't going to play. So I thought, you know, let me put in Philly defense just in case because I had picked up Philly defense a couple days before. Over just, Pittsburgh's defense? Yeah, over oh, Pittsburgh. Okay. But here's the thing. I still would have lost anyway. What did uh, Pittsburgh defense get today? Um, They got 14 points. Damn. And Philly's defense only got – two points so it only would have given me another 12 points and i still would have lost okay but it was a little bit of a overthought because you had you had i remember you had made this mistake at the beginning of the year the week week the buffalo the buffalo tennessee week that cost me yeah two leagues one of which was our auction league it cost me that league because i didn't play josh allen right i played daniel jones that week because i didn't play josh Josh allen stupid and I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that this week. I'm gonna hold out for Deontay Johnson where I needed him. Right. So I, I played him. Yeah. Today it didn't help me win, but I played him. Yeah. But yeah. Um. So. So I guess that that's my overthought of the week, but again, it didn't really matter. Um, for my very angry segment. Oh. Here's what happened. So I haven't been working Saturday nights anymore. So I wake up like 8 a.m. 9 a.m. I am like ready to go. I am like, I am ready for football. Like 9 a.m. Like ready to go. I decided this week to oversleep until 10 10 and then realized Austin Eckler is on my bench in two leagues. Christina Shaw, are you f- kidding me? Christina. Wow. Curse yourself out. So it cost me a win in. Um, in our New York league. That cost you the win, huh? You would have won with that. Here, here, here's the kicker. Not only did I lose, the guy I played against had Julio Jones and Jared Cook. In his lineup? Yes. Oh, my God. And I still lost. Are you f***ing kidding me? That's brutal. Like, it, uh, yeah. Uh, what? I, I just can't believe I made this mistake. And I, I said to, to my husband, I said, why didn't you wake me up? And he said, I, I didn't even realize it. Yeah. He, you know, he doesn't know that you have to like yeah. make these last minute decisions or whatever. And, and I remember looking at it going, okay, I, in the morning I have to check dynasty and my New York league to see if Eckler's going to play. And yeah. And, oh my Lord. Well, at least with dynasty it didn't cost you. So that's good. No. But in the, that league, and look, the silver lining is that you're in the playoffs in New York also. So it didn't kill you, but a win would have been nice. It would have probably clinched you top two. Yes. So I, I'm i not happy. Like yeah. I said, I might, th- that decision, I'm in third place now. right now. That decision, I think, maybe put me down the fifth place. Yeah. Because of who won and who lost. Like, I'm beside myself. Yeah, no, that because of I, that. I would not forgive. I'd be out of a hard time forgiving myself for that. And now I just, I just can't believe I overslept. Like, oh, I'm just so, I'm so mad at myself. Do you know I have four alarms set on Sunday morning? <laughs> so- I'm not kidding. Because I can't get up in the morning. Because I'm working to four. Yeah, right. And so th- I can't get up. So, like, I've set four alarms, two of which I have to walk across the room to shut off. And they're loud as hell. So, like, I am not oversleeping on a Sunday. Like, I f- refuse. Like, I, I'm going to get up and I'm going to get my lineup set. Because especially this year, I literally, this week, because of all the weirdness this week, I couldn't make any Saturday decisions. A lot of times, my decisions are made Saturday night. 
and then maybe I have one or two things to switch out on a Sunday morning. Right. I yes. can't do that this year. Yes. You right. can't. You cannot do that this no. year. No. So I'm like waiting for Sunday. Ugh. So I'm up. I got up at 820 this Sunday because I had to make some serious decisions on Sunday. I'm just. I get it, though. Bes- I'm, it, it literally just like. And you, and you guys know, you know out there that feeling that you get, like, not even in your gut, in your heart. Like, I oh, yeah. literally just, I feel it in my heart. Like, how did this happen? What, like, it's just, oh, it's so sad. I know it's just a game, but this is like our lives. There is nothing. Oh, it is. There's nothing worse than making a mistake. You want a mistake I made this week? And it was an avoidable mistake. Oh, yeah. Here's it. I'll give you one. I got one, too. Ah! Okay. So, uh, our friend Jakuba, I don't know if you're listening. I handed you a win this week Ooh. in a 16-team league. I literally handed it to him. Ooh. So, 16-team league, right? I have Wentz in my starting lineup. Jakuba has Lamar Jackson, and he didn't change him out on Friday when we hear about him getting COVID. Mm-hmm. I pick up Trubisky to block him. Saturday comes and Jakuba calls me just to talk shop about something else, right? And I says, yeah, we're up against each other in the 16-team league. And I mentioned, I, I think Fitzmagic's still, I guess he's, he's, I mentioned it to him that Fitzmagic is, is, is still out there. I said it to him. I told him <laughs> so, this. He's got Brandon Allen in the starting lineup. I tell him that Fitzpatrick is there. Of course he picks him up. Of course he starts him. And he beat me by two points. Oh, my God. Had Wentz thrown the ball at the two point conversion, I beat him. Yeah. Oh man. Or had Rager catch another freaking pass. I told him. Oh. And then I don't change it out because I kept Trubisky because I didn't want him to not have Trubisky. Right. So he pits oh. Fitzpatrick up and he pits him and he beats me. Oh. Are you f- kidding me? <laughs> How stupid can I be? You're a nice guy, Kenny. You gotta play ruthless, man. I I don't know what I did. I was like, I literally like as soon yeah. as he picked him up, like. I literally like, what did I just do? Right. You you played ruthless and then you were like, Oh, I feel bad. Like, yeah, I did. Yeah, you know I, think, what? I think I literally did. Yeah. I felt bad you about have, blocking him. Kenny, you have a conscience. You can't have a conscience with this. Yes. This is like right, this is there's things in life to have consciences about, okay? You know, like in life. Like, we want to have a conscience. Like tripping an old lady. Yeah, don't trip an old lady for their money. All right. We don't we have to have a conscience about that. Not that we do that. You might, but I don't. No, I would not. It's just right? a joke. It was a joke. Yeah, there are things you have in, in, that in life that, that you have a conscience. <laughs> Fantasy football should not be one of those things. All right? Well, tell your subconscious that, Kenny. Right? <laughs> and, and knock myself out of the playoffs. I, I, I mean, I, I don't think I was making the playoffs there anyway. We've gotten a 7-5. and five, And in a, in a 16-team league, you need 8-5 and five with points. And I'm the fifth. I'm fifteenth in points in this league. My team stinks. Oh my god. My team is bad. Mm. I've known for a while my team is bad. I mean, I'm starting. I'm literally starting Damian Harris as my RB two. That's how bad my team. Well, is. it's a sixteen team. Yeah. yeah, but you know, literally, the teams are have better options than that. Right. All right. Uh, I ain't winning, but still. <sighs> yeah, couldn't believe yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Some hard ones. That's a bad one. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. On that note. Yes. Is it song time? It is. Are you set? Yes. You ready? Let's do it. It's Wednesday. Wait, 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 wait. It's it's not it's not Wednesday night. It is literally Wednesday night tonight, but t- but the waiver game is is Thursday this week. No, but we're doing starter sit questions. That's true. So it's, but it's actually, always Wednesday night when we do starter sit questions. No, I know, but you're making your decisions on Saturday this week. Well, then do it. It's Saturday night. Who should you choose? Make the right choice so you win, not lose. Oh, uh, uh, I know. Hey, before we go on, I think in honor of Britney Spears' 39th birthday, which is today, I think we, I think Britney should sing that. It's Saturday night. Who should you choose? Make the right choice so you win, not lose. Start or sit. Start or sit. Start or sit. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's only 
39? Yeah, she looks like she's 49. I mean, gosh, she's been in our lives for 21 years. I know. It's so crazy. I love yeah. her, but poor Brittany. Well, I mean, she needs independence. Yes. That poor case. I, that case is brutal. Anyway. Anyway, sorry. Let's not get off target. All right. What'd you start us at? Okay. Um, I'm going to start off with Dennis because All he got right. very upset at us last week that I did not read every single one of his start or sit questions. Right, so we, we, we apologize, one. Dennis. So we are going to say yours first. All right. And his question is Kamara or Murray? That is a very good question. What are the Saints doing? We don't know. Um, <clears throat> we did talk about it a little bit earlier. I mean, I, I, I'm going to say Murray. I don't know. It's kind of hard to sit Kamara. It's kind of it's kind of hard. I mean, you can't play both? I guess not. My thought is always this. Yeah, Murray's played better than Kamara. I know this. And Murray's better than Taysom Hill. I went with Taysom Hill in there. If I have Alvin Kamara on my bench yeah. and I lose because of that, I would never forgive myself. Yeah. That's how I feel. But we just talked about it earlier. I get it. And I get Taysom it. Taysom Hill is not... But let's keep this in mind. Dumping the ball off. He's not. But let's keep this in mind. This past week, they played Denver with no quarterback. Denver had no quarterback literally in this game, right? That was – can we talk about that? That was oh, funny. That was, I've never seen anything like this. That was funny and sad and, like, what is going on? Right. And they won the game 31-3. to That game literally from the kickoff was never in doubt. You knew New Orleans was never going to lose this game. There's no chance they could lose this game. Right. Why not give Murray the carries? Same thing a week ago against Atlanta. And they're not losing to Atlanta. Now, playing Atlanta this week, I get it. But I feel like if the game is more in doubt, that Camaro will get the run. But I think that the Murray situation, not just is it Taysom Hill, but it's also the fact that the last two games they've played, they've been blowouts. You know, New Orleans has won eight straight, by the way. Right, but if they're blowouts, why isn't Kamara and Murray just, like, blowing Murray's, it up? Murray is the run-the-clock-out guy, not right. Kamara. Kamara's the guy. If they need it, Kamara's going to be the guy. And I think if they're in a tight game, that Sean Payton will get it into Taysom's head, get the ball to Kamara's hands. If it's a tight game. Now, again, they're playing Atlanta this week. They might blow Atlanta out this, again this week. When when was um, Breeze's first game out? Was it against San Fran? At, no, Atlanta. It was at Atlanta. Yeah. That and was it the was, game. Again, that was, and Murray outscored Kamara there, too. Right. Right? Yeah. Murray at, at 10.3. What did, yes. What did Kamara have a week ago? 5.7. All right. And he had 6 point something this week. That I know. Murray's week. outscored him and two weeks in a row. And then against San Francisco, it. week 10, it was 31.3. I get it. That's real tough, though. Let me check. Let me check Murray's the last couple weeks. Yeah, he was 25 this week. Against Arizona, he was 9.5. And San Fran, he was 5.7. But then before that, it's 5, 4, 6, 6. Like, oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh, do you really? Here's the question. Can you live with the fact that Kamara will go if Kamara goes off on your bench. Can you live with that? Decision? I can't live with something like that. That's me though. Everybody's different, but I wouldn't be able to live with that. That's how I feel. I don't know. I kind of say play Murray. Oh, we are. You know, and, not, and not only that, Murray's upside is tied to touchdowns. He has to get in the end zone. He only got ten the first week. He has to get in the end zone. Kamara on a normal week does not have to get in the end zone to, to do better. Yeah, L remind that. But Murray's got to get in the end zone. But Murray's still got 124 yards this yeah, week. Yeah, but in general, in general. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get the point. Oi, good luck. Yeah, because I I'd be splitting hairs. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna give you not only start or sit, but add or drop. Okay. For this, um, I need to start. Three of these five running backs. Gibson, 
Well, you're definitely starting Gibson. Eckler. Carson against the Giants. DeAndre Swift. Raheem Mostert. You're definitely starting Gibson. And Eckler. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sit Carson against the Giants. I would say Gibson, Eckler, and Carson. So I'm sitting Swift. Yeah. Wow, that's tough. Or Gibson, Carson, and Swift. Are you really gonna sit, sit Eckler? Eckler? Exactly. Sit Eckler? You're not gonna sit Eckler. You're definitely playing Gibson and Eckler. So your decision is Carson or Swift. I don't think Gibson's an automatic start. What? They're playing Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh does not give up points. I don't think I don't think Gibson's an automatic start. Oh, I disagree. I think Eckler with you. is. Uh, I disagree with you. In this situation, I'm not sure about that. Eckler, Carson. I'm not sitting. Car- you know, Carson's not automatic either because Carson didn't get the ball a lot. So Carson's question. I'm probably gonna go Gibson after Carson. Yeah, he, but I, mean, I might go Swift over Carson. Here's here's Gibson's points in the last five weeks: 18, 12. That's his least. 22, 17, and 36. No, I'm not. sorry, you're not sitting Gibson. I can't argue that, but again, they're playing, Pitts- they're playing that, Pittsburgh. Mm. You cannot run on Pittsburgh. You can't. Um, Buy me running backs that have scored against Pittsburgh this year. It's not good. Yeah, but are you going to be okay with Gibson on your bench if he goes off? With for DeAndre Swift, I'm not going to be that upset about it. It's DeAndre Swift. I'm not sitting for Latavius Murray. Right, 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 right. Right. Now here's another thing I got to do. Gronk's my tight end, not playing. I have to drop somebody to either, or I have to drop Gronk to get a tight end. I can drop Pittman, T. Higgins, Giovanni Bernard. Swift, Galladay, Mixon, or Mostert to get a tight end? Uh, I mean, I think I would just drop Gronk. I'm not dropping Gronk. No? With tight end being as bad as it is, he's been great. Okay, all right. No um... chance. Gronk's number. Here's Gronk's uh, since week six. Nah, all right, he hasn't been fantastic. But, but, but yeah. Not, but, wait, wait a minute. Since week six, 18-8, 17-2, 14-1, then a dud, 1.2, then 13.1, then another dud, 4.5, then 16-6. All right. I'm not dropping that. A tight end? I'm not dropping that. So who am I dropping? Would you dare drop Make Galladay? Michael Pittman? You know who I think I'm dropping? Pittman? No, you know who I think I'm dropping? I'm dropping Galladay. Is Galladay going to play this year? Yeah. There's no IR in this league. That's why I have a problem. Oh, God. Why? That's just the way the league's set up. Let me check. I'm dropping. I'm telling you right now. I'm dropping Galladay. Hmm. That's who I'm dropping. All right. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it either. But Galladay hasn't played since since week, what, six? Seven. He hasn't played since week seven. Is he going to play again this year? It's going to be a six straight game he's missed. Right. And then if, if he does play, are you really going to put him yeah. in anyway? I mean, they're also playing Chicago. He's yeah. not playing this week. So it's like, forget it. Am I dropping Mixon? I mean, Mixon may not play again this, this year either. I don't know. But it, are you like decimated at running back where you would need him? Well, you saw my running backs. Gibson, Eckler, Carson. Oh, then drop Mixon. I don't know if I should drop Mixon. Mixon's a hard guy to drop. But he also hasn't played since week six. No, I know. You're right. You're right. What what is his status on coming back? I don't know. I haven't heard a thing. Drop Mixon. With all of these RBs that you have, do you really need Mixon? That's true. That's a fair point. That's I, fair. Yeah. You drop Mixon over Galladay? Yeah. Okay. Because you have Gibson, Eckler, Carson, Swift, and Raheem Mostert. I have everybody on this team. Yeah, you don't need them. Yeah. It's not that bad of a of a situation i thought they were two different teams that's oh yeah that's not that's not i mean it sucks yes but like you don't need it yeah now here's a start sit for you i have good teams so i have some i have some tough decisions here um it would be in 
a, a oh boy, Allen Robinson or Kenyon Drake? Allen, who does Robinson Sloan plays Detroit? Chicago play. Kenyon Drake's playing the Rams. Kenyon Drake's been real good lately. Two games back, Kenyon Drake's got Full a 16, 16 out of twenty four. I mean, Full that, point PBR. That's that's like a dart throw, like a good dart throw. The real good dart throw I have. I could drop. Je- I could. I could start. I could sit Jefferson. I could start sit McLaurin. Not sitting those guys. No. I don't think I'm sitting. I Robinson would almost either. say. I think I'm sitting Drake. You're sitting Drake. Yeah. Yeah. My and my running backs are Derrick Henry and, and and James Robinson. The only thing that scares me about that is Trubisky. Robinson's better with Trubisky than he is with Foles. I know it's hard to believe, but he is. Robinson put up a 24 spot this week, and Detroit stinks. Hmm. All right. All right. I think I'm going Robinson. Though. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right. So now I have one, right. which is the same question we have every week. I mean, am I am I sitting Miles Sanders? What is it? What are your options? <sighs> it's, it's just it's it's this thing. <laughs> this doesn't I, sound so good. Well, I have Antonio Gibson. He's staying in there. Yep. Uh, Taylor. Ronald Jones, McKinnon, like McKinnon, well, right, McKinnon's not. No, no, no. But Ronald Jones, I had on my Ronald bench. Ronald Jones is you, you know. Well, Ronald Jones is on a bye this week, so you don't have to worry oh, about that. Oh, you're week. right. Yeah. So here you're playing. So, Sanders. so Sanders or Taylor? What's your other running back? Uh, Gibson. You can't play all three. Oh, then well, I'd no, because Jones is on a bye. You can't play Taylor yet over get over Sanders. San- Taylor Taylor has not proven it yet. Right. I play Sanders, and again, Ta- Sanders is playing Green Bay. Yeah. You just talked about it, right? Right. And then you know, this week I freaking had Michael Pittman in our, my flex, and now am I putting Marvin Jones back in there? And then I pick. I had to pick up Reed because. Mark Andrews was out. Like, this team was doing so good. Marvin Jones is not reliable. I'm just so Pittman, bummed about this you know, team. Pittman had nine targets this week. He didn't produce me at nine targets. So keep him in my flex? Yeah, I'm still playing Pittman. Is Mark Andrews going to be okay this week? Well, that's another question. I don't know. Right, and I picked up Jordan Reed, and he got me three points. Yeah, he's, you know, he's Jordan Reed. He's, he's old. What did Richard Rodgers play? Because I remember. Or... He did well. Right. He caught the, he caught the Hail Mary. Damn it! Because that, remember, I texted you. I said yeah. Richard Rogers or Reed, and I wanted to pick up Richard Rogers, and you told me Reed, and I said okay. And I yeah, well, right. because Goddard, I mean, I would have. I didn't think Richard Rogers would do anything with Goddard back. He's a good player. Well, he's old too. You look at you picking between two old guys. Fourteen points. He got. Well, he caught the hail mary. He wasn't doing anything oh, before yeah, the hail yeah, mary. Yeah. yeah, he got. He got a touchdown. How many oh, players yeah. have caught two hail marys in their life? That's true. Right, caught one from Aaron Rodgers. The last three that. weeks. Against the Giants, he scored 10 points. Yeah. Against Cleveland, he scored 12. And Seattle, he scored 14. I will say this. The only players that Wentz seems to have confidence in are the tight ends. Yeah. But if if, but if Ertz plays this week, you think Richard Rodgers is even going to play? I don't think so. So so do I keep Reed in? I mean, let's see who my, my tight end options are in this league. Because Gasecki, I'm not playing him. Nope. Schultz, maybe? Oh, yeah. Schultz, I do. Yeah. Yeah, Schultz is pretty good. Logan Thomas. Logan Thomas is pretty good, too. Logan Thomas is produced with Alex Smith. Yeah. Not terrible. Yeah, Cincinnati had two points, but Dallas against Dallas, he had 13. Yeah. Detroit, he had 10. I mean, he's yeah. up and down. They all are. Yeah, so maybe drop Reed and try to get somebody else. Like, maybe. All right, fun well, stuff. that was fun. That was be some fun. hard decisions this week coming into the stretch. Yep. And we've come to the end. Where we bury a player. It's an obvious one this week. Not by injury, but dearly beloved. We're gathered here today to end the 2020 fantasy season. Not sadly, but angrily. Very angrily. Of Will Fuller. Is that a word? I, for me, this week it is. Will Fuller! How did you do this to us? Why? Right before the end of the playoffs. I need playoffs. answers. Why? We need, we need lots of answers. I need, uh, ow, ow. I need closure. I need, I need closure. Oh, God. Stupid. May you rest in pieces, Will Fuller. Rest in pieces? Yeah. Ooh, that was, I'm mad. That was morbid. I'm mad. PDs.
Pete. Screw you. Sorry. I'm mad. Sorry. Really. Do we have Do we have a raise from the dead? Because I don't. I don't like to. No. That's somebody who's going to end everybody on an angry note. Who are you going to raise from the dead? Jordan Reed. He's no. Stuck. He's stuck. Right. <laughs> Should we raise Frank Gore? Who actually got ten points. Yes. Wait, 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 you you advocated him as an after midnight pick last week, so he's already been raised. Right. So I hope he y'all picked dead. him up. I hope y'all picked him up last right. week, like I told you to. Yeah. Ten. You points. know what? I'll tell you what, you're starting Frank Gore. I'm starting Frank Gore again this week. Am I starting Frank Gore over Miles Sanders? No. <laughs> no. No. No, Christina, no. no. <sighs> and on that note, happy December. Happy December. Happy week 13. Yes. We'll see you next week. 13's my lucky number, so I better sweep this week. Yeah. Sweep. Do it. And we'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye.